Got Elliot again here, and for this little video clip, I'm going to show you just the basics of, of what you'll need to be doing in this online contemporary mathematics course. And so, again, I will scroll down to the course, click the link to enter it. It'll ask me to log in, so I'll type in the credentials to log in. And once I'm inside the course, um, just a few basics here. Right down the middle of the page will be the main content of the course. Um, at the very top, this top section here refers to information that you may want to be using throughout the course, following by different sections, the first one being section one, to con that contains information about your first exam, um, section 2 containing information about your second exam. So let's just get the flow here for what you'll be doing. Um, for exam 1, um, you'll notice here I've got the deadline. That's when you will need to make sure you have taken the exam by. Okay, so here's what will happen. Um, as you work through the material for exam 1, um, I have some non-graded textbook homework that you can see here. So for instance, exam one textbook homework, I tell you what problems to be working and where you can find them in your textbook. I've also provided um, different links out here. Exam one handout, if we look at it. Exam one handout has some information um, relating to the topics that are covered for exam one. Uh, basically I give the a little summary of what's being talked about and then ask you maybe some leading questions um, to get you to think about the topics that are there. So that's for your use. Also you'll see here an assignment um, for the exam one material. Basically for this assignment you'll create um, a study guide, you can type it up and submit it here for a grade and I, I tell you how you will get the different points for that assignment. We'll typically be doing one of these assignments at least per exam. Looking a little further down the page here, um, you'll notice section 1.1 notes. I'll just click on it and you'll find a PDF file that contains my handwritten notes um, for that particular topic and for a few of the different sections out there you'll also see a link to um, a video that I've provided and that video will relate to different material from the sections again it's it's usually um, a screen recording of me actually writing out the lecture notes so if you don't get to see the videos, um, that's fine. If you're looking at the notes though and you don't understand what's happening in the notes, you might want to check out the video to see what's happening. You'll also notice a couple of uh, practice test videos. These go hand in hand with the practice tests that are in your book. And so if I click chapter one practice test video, you'll see a little link here um, that should open Windows Media Player and in Windows Media Player you will see um, the author of the textbook actually working out some of the problems from the practice test that's in your book. If you happen to have a question related to the material that you're working on, there's a little forum in each topic here where you could come in and add a new discussion. If you've got a question, you click the add a new discussion type in a subject and then you can type in the question and it would help here too as you type in your questions um, maybe you could go ahead and explain what the problem is saying okay so you'll notice here you went ahead and had it typed in quickly um, if you compare this to number 13 in the book it's not exactly like what's written um, since we don't have a, a nice easy little math tool to create some of the symbols, um, the best thing we can do is just use the appropriate math terminology. So on part A of number 13, 
it's asking is the set ABC a subset um, of A union B is that a true statement or not likewise for part B they're saying the set ABC is an element of A union B so we have to decide whether that's true or not and so as a student you might have a question about this you could type it in um, click the post to forum button and that message would actually be posted out there to the forum. We've got 30 minutes to come back and edit it if we like. And as an instructor, as well as another student, we might browse to this forum and actually see that uh, someone's posted a question. And I would then be able to go in and answer it. Another nifty little thing here is that uh, everyone is subscribed to this forum, which that what that means is that uh, after this 30-minute editing period has passed, um, everybody in the course will be sent an email with this post. Um, so the good thing about that is as I respond to a student with a question, you'll get an email about that. And so it's just similar to what would happen in a classroom setting where somebody else in the class class asks a question um, even though you didn't ask it you would have the benefit of getting to hear uh, somebody else's question as well as my answer so this is just another way to um, interact with me throughout the course website another thing that I've posted in here um, for each of the chapters um, there are some practice questions out there and here I've got links to different questions. These are not graded, um, just something that you can try on your own. And of course, if you have questions, feel free to ask me. Some other key features you may find here. Um, there's a calendar that here I'll go ahead and browse into January. You'll notice here if I hover over January 30th, um, it'll provide a link to something that's happening that day and that happens to be the deadline for um, taking your first exam. We'll also say an upcoming events list and this uh, projects a couple of weeks out into the future to let you know what's coming up quickly. You can also see a report of recent activity. You can see here that um, the test student has posted a form message that you can go out there and read. There's a quick link to that. You have a link over here on the left to your grades, and so if you click on that, you'll uh, have a view into the grade book. Um, you can also see the activities link here, a um, way to see all the assignments for the course or all the uh, resources. The online users will give you a list of who's been online in the last five minutes. So if you happen to see my name in this list, You'll be able to uh, click that link and possibly send me an instant message if you have a question. You can see other students in the list by clicking the list of all the people in this course. Alright then, that concludes my quick little introduction to how to use the, the course. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or post a message out here uh, in one of the forums.